Now these have two forms. One type of revelation we call it is protected and it is immune from error and satanic influences. That is the wahi which came to the prophets. No satans, no jinnis, not even the animal self of the, of the recipient, recipient of wahi, of revelation. His own animal instincts cannot indulge here. And this is verbal revelation recorded in the scriptures. In the books. We believe in Torah, we believe in Bible, Gospel, we believe in Quran, and that is the last message, the final message, the most complete guidance for all times to come for the whole of humanity. So this is protected. Another form of Wahi that we may call this actually, the first one is, we, we call it Vahiya Jali. Very apparent or lightning Vahi, which has been coming now because the institution of prophethood has come to an end in the person of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which used to come to the prophets. The other is inspiration, inspiration. The first one comes through the angel. Archangel Gabriel, he brings, he has been bringing this revelation, prophetic revelation. Astafa Adama, wa Nuhan, wa ala Ibrahim, wa ala Imran, ala alamin. Allah chose Adam and then Nuh and then Abraham and born the progeny of Abraham. And he has been sending his wahi through Archangel Gabriel to each one of them. This is the manifest, we may call it, Wahi Jali, very apparent, protected, and put in scripture that you get yourself, which we call Ilham in Arabic. There's something comes from true dreams also. And this form of wahi is continuing till this date and it will continue till the end of this world. But it is not protected. It can be influenced by satanic influences. It can be influenced by the subject thought of the person who has received it. There can be mistakes in the interpretation that the recipient is making of it. And this is open. This type of wahi comes to animals also. The bee. It got wahi from Allah. And non-prophets, mother of Moses, she got this type of wahi. Acting upon that, he put Moses in the river Nile. And so on and so forth. This type of revelation is continuing and will continue till the end of this world. But this type of revelation for the prophets is protected. Not only the Wahiya Jali is protected, but for the prophet, this inspiration is also protected. No satanic influence comes, can come to it. Now what the, the Jali and the apparent or the protected or the recorded wahi has given us. Now it gives us number one laws and injunctions. The do's and the don'ts. And the first of the foremost were the commandments given to Moses. God's blessing and peace be upon him. The Ten Commandments. The do's and don'ts. Do this, don't do this. Eat this, don't eat this. Drink this, don't drink this. So this is the most important part 
of the Vahiya Jali, the apparent and the shining Vahi, which has been preserved, which has been protected from satanic influences and preserved in the box. And second thing is the wisdom, wisdom. The total wisdom which gives the replies to the questions with which the philosophers have been grappling. Who you are? What is this universe? Did it come into being by itself or there was some creator? If there was a creator, what are his attributes? Is he alone? Or he has assistants and subordinates and such and such, gods and goddesses, with the small g. With the capital G, the god has been one. In Hindu mythology, Mahadev is one, Mahadev. But Devis and Devtas are so many. In Arabia, Allah. The God was one, but Aleha, they had their idols and they had their own concept of the Malaika that they are also to be worshipped. So, this wisdom, and wisdom is again into two parts. The general wisdom, theoretical wisdom, the philosophical wisdom and number two, the wisdom behind the commandments. Why this fasting has been made imperative upon you? It has a wisdom behind it. Why these five prayers a day? They have a wisdom behind them. Why are these things? So wisdom of the commandments and wisdom regarding the philosophical questions and quests of human beings. So they become close to metaphysics, philosophy, metaphysics. It has connection with the general and the wisdom of Iman or faith. And sociology comes together, the commandments regarding individual behavior, and the guidance regarding the political socio-economic system that human beings should adopt and enforce. So these are the two kinds of knowledge. And they are based on my first submission. Man is composed of two beings. The animal being, the spiritual being. And it has two knowledges. The animal being is earning knowledge, acquiring knowledge, step by step, step by step, reached to unimaginable heights, you know. 